Well, it's getting to be about Christmas time, so let's make a Christmas tree. Uh, I've gone into my brushes and PSP, and uh, let's see, got the spiky twirl. I'm going to use that. Uh, we got like three different sizes. We'll be using this large, large size, and then the medium. That's what I think that will work out good. I'm going to cut the size down here. This is default size. I'll cut it down a little bit. Uh, we're going to make a little shape here for like a tree. Yeah. And uh, just kind of fill it in a little bit here. Do, 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 do. Let's go along the bottom here, get a good bottom. And got that. I'm going to change brushes here. Uh, let's see, let's go to the default. It's got like plus default, and that will take off uh, the other settings that we don't want to use. We don't want it doing like what our first brush did. And I'm going to swap colors here. I'm going to uh, use black, a uh, new layer here, new raster layer. And I'm going to like, paint over the transparent areas that I don't want showing. And uh, we'll be sliding this layer down underneath. So uh, it's not that I'm painting uh, over this like I am, am painting over it. But it won't, we're going to slide it down so it won't look like this. I got most of them covered, and when we slide it down, it takes out uh, a lot of those transparent areas. Come on down, baby. There we go. Make this layer. See, that's like a pretty nice Christmas tree. Uh, let's add another layer, and let's add some tinsel to it or something that looks a little bit like tinsel. Uh, you can change to. Uh, about any kind of flat silvery pattern. I don't like that. Here's one. That all worked pretty good. And uh, let's see, we'll change to another spiky twirl here, but it'll be uh, medium size. And let's see, I want green on top, so it'll be taking part green, part silver as we do this and kind of give it some kind of effect like that. <laughs> I wish putting up a tree was this easy. Ah, that's pretty good. And let's add some balls to it. Uh, Christmas balls, that is. Uh, let's see, reds are nice. Go. Christmassy red here. We have to go back and uh, whoop. Have to go back and pick our default again. Plus default. It's the first option in my box. So we can get just this round shape. And let's see. You can pause this tape anytime you want to. Uh, that's a little small, don't you think? This canvas size I'm working on, by the way, is. Uh, uh, 800 by 600. I like working large and then resizing it small when I'm done. That way the the little bad spots don't show up hardly a, at all when you finish. There's some spots. Let's see. Let's pick uh, uh, pretty blue. How about that? And let's see. We've got red, blue. Uh, pick a pretty green, I guess. This one. And I'm going to add another layer here. For this one, we're going to add like highlights uh, with white. Uh, change this down to about 20 here. And I'm just going to make dots on the sides of these things. You know how sometimes the 
Christmas balls have have a little shiny spot on them. Uh, you don't have to do them all, but I'll do them all right now. Because I just am in that Christmas spirit. And that just looks like white dots on them. Let's go to adjust uh, blur, Gaussian blur. We'll blur these things out a little bit. Let's see how this looks here. Yeah, it looks pretty good. And that's it. We have our Christmas tree. Of course, you could resize it and use it the way you want to. I hope you enjoyed this little video here. And see you later. This is Hootie. Hootie talking to you.